So if you use a Chromebook, I assume you know what things like Control C and Control V do. But what about Alt left square bracket or Alt right square bracket? Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now today I want to show you 23 great keyboard shortcuts for Chrome OS that will really improve your productivity. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So like I said in the introduction, I assume you know what Control C and Control V does, cut and paste. And I also assume you know what all these special keys do at the very top of your Chrome OS uh, keyboard, things for turning up the volume, things for turning up the brightness and things like that. But there are a whole bunch of other keyboard shortcuts that will really help to improve your productivity. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with our first shortcut, which is to open a new window, and that is Control and N, and that works anywhere on the desktop. If we do Control and N, up will come a new browser window. Actually, at the same time, you can also use Control and W to close. Uh, a tab on a browser, which actually means if there was only one, it would actually close the whole tab. If we do Control and N to open it again, if I now do Control and T, you can actually open up an additional tab. And then of course, see there, Control and W actually closes it. Control T to open another one. And Shift Control W will close the whole window. Okay, so that was our first four shortcuts. That's Control N, Control T, Control W, and Shift Control W. Now, if we have the browser open here, you can shift between the different tabs using Control Tab. So by pressing Control Tab, you can switch between the tabs that you have open in the browser. And likewise, if you use Alt Tab, you can shift between the programs that you have running. So here I have the Chrome, I have the File Manager, and I have a calculator all running, and you can just switch between them using Alt and Tab. Now, another interesting uh, keyboard shortcut is if you want to click on a link and you press Control at the same time as you press it, it will open that link in the background and load it in the background. You see we've remained inside this uh, window, but the one here actually about this article is coming up there in the background and I can use Control W to close that. Okay, here are some more ones about window management. If I use Alt and left square bracket, I dock the window to the left. Alt and right square bracket and I dock the window to the right. Alt and equals will maximize it and Alt and minus will uh, minimize it. And of course I can still use Alt and tab to find it again and that will bring it back up uh, onto the screen. So if you want to scroll a web page while you're reading it, you can use the search button, which is the bit key with the uh, magnifying glass on it, and the down arrow to go down a page and you can keep pressing down, and then with up arrow to take you up a page. And similarly, you can actually press the space bar. So pressing the space bar will take you down a page. Now you can see here we're in the middle of this page. If I want to go to the top of the page, I press search, control, and left. And if I want to go to the bottom of the page, I press control and search and right. And of course, on these infinite scrolling pages, you can actually just keep going down further and further. And then uh, control and search and left will take me back up to the top. Okay, that's 16 shortcuts we've covered so far. Let's look at a couple more. If we press shift and alt and M, then I get the file manager up. And although I already had that up, if I actually close it here and do shift and alt and M, it will open it uh, brand new. So if it's open, it switches to it. And if it's not open, it brings it up for you. And then while you're inside of the web browser, if you, for example, find a photo, if you press the space bar, it will show you a preview of that picture and space bar to get rid of it again. So you can go down and you can press space bar and then space bar to get rid of it again. That's number 18. Now on some uh, Chromebooks, of course, you like this uh, flip that I have from Asus that I have here, you can fold the screen backwards and actually it, you can stand it up on end. And so it's actually possible to rotate the screen using shift control and then using the refresh button, which has an arrow like rotation. In fact, if we do that, we can see we can turn the screen, we can now turn it completely upside down and then back round and finally back to its normal position. So if you are moving the screen around, here you can control the orientation. And in fact, if you press Shift, Control, Alt and the rotate button, you get this little effect where it does that to the window. So look at that, there you go. Shift, Alt and a Control and it does that quick spin there for you. Okay, that was number 20. Now, if we're inside of a document, 
Uh, of course, you can be typing away, but you may notice that on the Chromebook, there's no caps lock key. So how do you go into caps lock? Well, you do that by pressing Alt and the search key, and you actually get the notification down here, look, that caps lock uh, is now on. And so now as we type, we're in capital letters. And if you just press Alt and the search key again, that will take that away. Or in fact, if you do uh, Alt and cap, uh, search, turn it on, and then just press Shift once, that will also get rid of it. So that's how you do cap lock on Chrome OS. While we're in the document here, it's worth noting that the end and the beginning of the document keys are the same as when you're reading a web page. So it's uh, search and control and right to get to the bottom, search and control and left to get to the top of the document. Okay, shortcut number 22 is to how to see your notifications. And you do that with shift, alt and N, and then you'll get a list of your current notifications. And you can see I had just that one here, which I can clear off like that. So shift, alt, N to bring them up. This time telling me I've got no notifications. And the final keyboard shortcut for us is how to get help about the keyboard shortcut. And you do that with control, alt, forward slash. And that brings up a little window where here you can see all of the different uh, ones that are available. And it's also organized according to the type of uh, keyboard shortcut you want to find. Now, there are loads more than I've said, but if you know those 23, you certainly will become a Chrome OS power user. OK, so there we have it. 23 great keyboard shortcuts for Chrome OS. One more thing before I go, if you like the T-shirt, let me explain. You can buy them online and there'll be a link in the description below. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explained. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video on social media. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.